Today I'm going to show you how to mod Fallout 4 easily and quickly using Vortex, which is a mod manager. And it's this tool that makes modding Fallout 4 fairly easy and quick. The next gen update for Fallout 4 just went live. And unfortunately, as predicted, it broke the Fallout 4 script extender. There's quite a few mods that rely on the script extender. And I recently did a video showing off a bunch of mods that you can install right now on both console and PC that don't require Fallout 4 script extender. And on that video, I had plenty of people asking me, hey, can you walk me through how to mod my game on PC? So the first thing that you're going to want to do is to go to nexusmods.com and to create an account. And once you've created that account, you want to search up top for Vortex. This is the mod manager tool that Nexus Mods put together. I think it came out in like 2018. There's another option, Mod Organizer 2, which is also good. Vortex, I think, is a little bit simpler and easier for newer modders or people fresh to this whole experience. There's real briefly a few ways you can install mods. One is manually installing them into your game files. And that can be really tricky, especially if you have a big mod list, because if you want to disable something or reinstall it, you have to go search for all those files and it can be a big pain. A mod organizer handles most of that for you, and you can disable any mods on the fly. You can reinstall them. You can check for updates. It is the recommended method. So once you've downloaded Vortex, you're going to then want to sign into your Nexus Mods account. Once you've signed into Vortex, you'll notice that they actually have some great tutorials in terms of how to get set up and the initial steps. Honestly, it detects pretty much everything automatically. One thing that you can do is come over to settings and you can tell what directory that you want your mod staging folder to be in and the download folder where you want your mods downloaded. Feel free to set these wherever you think best. Then if we come back to Nexus Mods, you can see some of the really popular games. We just select Fallout 4 here and we've got a big directory of tons and tons of Fallout 4 mods. You can sort by new, popular the last 30 days, popular all time. And you'll notice if there's one that looks really cool, you can click into it to learn a little bit more. So I came here to Place Everywhere, a very popular mod, and I, I'm picking this one intentionally because every single mod has this little requirement section here, and you're going to want to double check if it requires any other mods in order for it to work. And of course, the Fallout 4 script extender is required for this mod to work, which means at this time, if you're on the next gen update on PC, it's not going to work, at least not until script extender has been fixed. Another thing you can also check, though, is under the posts section here. It's like a little forum board for every single mod. And you can scroll through here and you can usually see recent comments from people uh, if it's working or not. Already we went through, it's not working, but let's go to one that is. So here we have a relatively new one. It's Lucy's Vault Tech Backpack. If we come to the requirement sections right here, it doesn't require anything. Okay, it looks pretty cool. I wanna check this out in game. So I then click on files It'll have a couple of options here, the Mod Manager Download or the Manual Download option. You want to select Mod Manager Download, and then you'll select the Slow Download, unless you have a paid uh, subscription over to Nexus. And then it will ask if you want to open up Vortex, and you'll say Open Vortex. And then Vortex automatically downloaded it in the background, and as soon as I clicked over here, notice the mod is installed, and it's enabled right here in my mod list. Now let's say I boot the game up and it crashes for whatever reason, it's not working. I can come back here and I can click disabled, right? If I click the enabled button, it will turn it off and it will automatically update the mod list, everything all there for you. Really cool, right? And really it's that simple. There are plenty of mods that are still working right now that don't require the Fallout 4 script extender, but I do wanna point your attention to a project called The Midnight Ride. The Midnight Ride is an exceptional modding guide for a vanilla plus version of Fallout 4. It gives you an incredibly stable, visually impressive, solid version of the game that has some content and gameplay tweaks, but it's very close to the original. If you watch my recent video on Viva New Vegas, it's the same guide, it's the same style of things, so I highly, highly recommend it. This one does not use Vortex, it utilizes Mod Organizer 2. I kind of like Mod Organizer 2 a little more than Vortex. It gives you a little bit more granularity. It lets you see a little bit more than Vortex. And yeah, visually it's a little scary, right? At, at first glance it looks a little dated, but it's very powerful. Now the Midnight Ride would only be for players who have not upgraded to the next gen patch or who are interested in downgrading from it, at least until the Fallout 4 script extender is fixed. 
And that pretty much wraps everything up that you need to know. If there's enough interest, by the way, I'm happy to do a guide showing you how to roll back Fallout 4 to the previous patch. Just let me know in the comments down below. If you found this helpful, please let me know, like the video, check out the Viva New Vegas guide or some of the mods that I just showed off that do work in the next gen update for Fallout 4. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you again very soon.